Google is in trouble and what they're about to do is game changing. In the works right now is Google developing a new AI powered search engine. That is correct. They're going to compete with Microsoft Bing because right now Microsoft is causing them some headaches. Let me tell you what I mean. So what this project is being called is Project Maggie. And this isn't just a upgrade to the current search engine. This is an entire project that has additional things they got working on. Well, right now you can see here, more than 160 Googlers are working full time to upgrade the current project, AKA the Google search. And they are reporting apparently this will be released in the next month. And Maggie will allow you to essentially do a lot of things automatically with AI, such as buying items, booking flights, etc. And right now, this is a huge problem for Google if they cannot upgrade because Microsoft Bing is supposedly looking into some of their major contracts, such as Samsung and Apple, and they do not want to lose those. So this is going to be a big deal. And the reason is because one, majority of people use Google Chrome. Two is if Google does not innovate, guess what's gonna happen? Microsoft will be the dominant player. So supposedly they think that it's gonna be announced at the next Google I.O. event, which at the current time of recording is supposed to be May 10th of 2023. So if you're watching this in the future, then maybe you already seen it. However, as of today, looks like a potential time frame is technically less than one month from now, which is going to be very exciting because I feel like not only will Maggie be announced, but a lot of the other projects that they're working on could be shown as well. Now, here are some financials to give you a big picture on why this is a big deal. Because right now, supposedly according to New York Times, Samsung has three billion up for contract with Google and Apple even they have 20 billion that's apparently up for new this year as well and the rumors are that if they don't upgrade then they would simply switch over to microsoft bing and don't worry we're going to take a look at microsoft bing ai browser just to show you how powerful it is currently right now now just to look at additional features that the supposedly google maggie could do is for example let's say you want to stand at airbnb they say that you could ask the chatbot to see and do things near your actual, AKA your apartment, your room, whatever you decide to rent. And that is actually quite interesting because now that becomes your own tour guide. Also, they have Giphy and TiVo Tutor, which are another project that they are potentially working on. And that is Google image search to generate images and then also can converse with chatbots in different languages. And supposedly, there's some things that already exist. However, it's not infused within every ecosystem in Google. But let's now take a look at Microsoft Bing, aka Microsoft Edge, to see the comparison with Google Chrome. So here we are on Microsoft Edge, aka their new updated AI browser, essentially Bing. And if you've never used it before, let me just show you why this is a big deal for Google, because there's some things that I didn't even know you could use it for until today. And that's because simply I just mainly use Google. However, if you are an avid Bing user, Microsoft Edge user, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So right now they have this little icon and this is their chat GPT style chat bot that you can ask it questions and pretty much do whatever. And it's pretty much just like any type of Google or even Safari type web browser, except it has AI infused with it. So. Some of the things that the articles mentioned were talking about setting up flights, hotels, Airbnbs. So I actually went ahead and let me just say, find me a hotel in let's just say Cuba under, let's do something, let's say $75 a night. And let's just keep it simple like that. Actually let's do for the dates of, and let's see right now, let's just put uh, May 1st to, May 10th, just like that. And let's say for two people. So let's say this is something you typically would be looking for when you go out to a hotel, you have to have a price point. 
if you don't have a price point. Also, you could look for certain dates and you could have a uh, amount of people you want. So watch what happens with the current being set up. And again, this does take a little bit of time, obviously. It could be quicker if I were to simply just type it in myself and look at hotels. However, let's see what it actually results in. And then we're gonna go over to Google and ask the exact same question and see exactly what it does. So here you can see it listed three options, each with a different price point, which we can see here. We got this one, $60, 4.5, 50, four star, 4.5, 60. So based off these numbers, it looks like one in three have the best stars and it's 60 bucks. And then I say, pick the best one. And I'm just going to see what it's capable of doing. And ideally, once they were to upgrade the speed of the responses, which I'm sure in a couple months, maybe years from now, be you know almost instantaneous, then it's going to be crazy. And then what it's going to do here, let's see, um, show me the link. And let's see if it's capable of giving me access to the link because I tried this earlier and actually when I didn't say specifics, it just gave me the straight up actual like visual link to it. And let's see if I able to click on this. Let's see. And it doesn't look like, I, let me see. I can't click on it. So maybe I have to see if it's uh, able to showcase like the actual visual image. But as you can see here, just a general gist of what's going on. And it looks like still cannot click on this. So still, there's still some faults. However, in general, if you're using this for information, you can see it's significantly better. And let me just ask it again. Give me a hotel in Cuba. So now I'll just, I'll just give it like a general question. Cause last time this question actually made it to where I was trying to achieve what I wanted. So if Google can fix this, this is a one issue I already see, like I can't, I can't click on it. And like most people, they don't wanna copy and paste this link. It just, just takes too much time. But this is just one example that I think Google is probably looking at in terms of user experience, which is a big deal. So here, this is great information if I was just simply looking up info, but I, if I really wanna book a hotel, this would be, I feel like it'd be kind of actually complicated so far with Bing, it came out of Edge. But if Google, were to implement what they say, where I can just type it in and then boom, I click it and I'm like on the checkout page, pull out the card card, there you go. And yeah, it does not seem like it's doing what I want, but okay, here we go, this is exactly what I wanted, okay. So now you can see it shows cases exactly this little visual, which I was trying to achieve earlier. And I guess I guess just how you ask it, it definitely is going to uh, change the way it uh, showcases. So now here is this hotel. And what we can do is we can cross check this and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like any of the options here. This is a completely different one. And basically you can see two guests and look like you can change the rooms. And yeah, you get the point. This is just a basic visual of potentially what Google could actually upgrade and make better. And now let's go over to Google really quick and let's just, let's just compare as of today and then in a couple of weeks when they release the update, we'll see how much more improved it is. And then if you wanna see that, definitely subscribe and you can see the latest updates on that. So now let's move over to Google and see exactly how this will be. So here on Google, let's go ahead and just type in, find me a hotel in Cuba. And see, now I gotta press enter and just look at that. Right off the bat, the first one that could be actually showcased is this one right here. And it automatically shows the two. I click on it and let's see the user experience. Error. Well, that's lovely. Let's try again. <laughs> Error again. Oh, come on, Google. I guess Google is currently not giving me a good option. So let's see. Let me try to set something up and see if this is my internet. All right, so I refresh the page and let's see if it's gonna work again. If it doesn't work, then I can't really do anything. Error again, yeah. So there's not much I can do at this point to continue with this comparison, but ideally this would have showed you the typical UI. So if you were to go here, I'll just give them the benefit of doubt. Okay, so here, that's much better. I guess the button works now. And then now I have to go here and then I have to click on it. And then I have to, internet still doesn't look like it's working. It definitely is working, but not sure why it says it's not working. So yeah, fine, yeah. So it looks like my internet is currently is working. It's just this specific 
feature is it? But you get the idea, you have to type it in, you have to click, you have to go click another button, it has to load up the page, you gotta click all these buttons, and ideally they can, let's say the step process is 10 steps to check out. If they can cut that down to like one or two, that's gonna change the game. But again, these are just some updates on the current Google Maggie. So if you wanna see the latest and greatest updates on the AI space, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.